To make a simple mallet or baton or billet, what I like to do is take a piece that's larger than what I plan to use, and then I'll cut myself a handle, probably about you know halfway down or so. I'll go about halfway down. I'm going to leave this edge larger and create my handle on this side. So what I want to do is kind of gauge the depth that I want to go by you know kind of looking at that depth in relation to the teeth and I'm just going to score down to a depth of maybe on this one I'll probably go about you know a little less than a half an inch so I'm going about to right there all the way around I'm going to transfer that line all the way around trying to stay at the same depth and bring those back together We'll go around again to make sure I've got a uniform depth as close as possible. And essentially what I've done is create a stop cut all the way around. Now with my knife, I can come in and set it up on my anvil. And I'm going to use just a regular stick for a baton. And what I'm going to do is cut about that depth off and connect to those stop cuts. And whenever you're, whenever you're billeting, billeting on the edge, it's going to have a tendency to run off and that's okay. So it's very important to pay attention to how uh, to where you start those cuts because where you start those cuts that's the diameter you want it to end up being it's going to run off every time you go around because if you don't start your billet in the center then it's it's almost always going to run off like it did here and that's all right so don't worry about that just keep going you're you're just reducing the amount of material that you have to you have to carve off later Now if you notice to prevent that runoff, if I can get this exaggerated for you, I'm bringing the knife in at a steeper angle this way and then kind of gently tapping it down to keep it from running off. I'm trimming that material off down to that stop cut. So I've changed the angle now. Try to give me a little more bite. Turn this to where you can see it in one of these cameras. But by chipping away at it like this, significantly reduces the amount of material I have to actually whittle off later. So I'll get as much as I can this way. Now 
And you might be thinking, you know, you're using a baton to create a baton. And you could just use this. Well, yes, you could. But I'm using this to create a better baton. That has a little more weight to the end of it and a better, more comfortable handle if I'm using it for a lot of bushcraft tasks. Now I've reduced a lot of what I need for that, so now I can come back in and there's less that I have to do for the shaping of this to make it comfortable. And remember from the tri-stick video, you know, your knife safety, you want to always be outside your blood triangle. Your triangle of death. Always well, seems a little too dramatic to call it the triangle of death, but I guess it makes it stick. You should always be carving over to the side of that. You can carve with a chest lever grip. And that's also safe. Or you can do a knee lever grip by pinning that to your knee on the outside and pulling the material. Now remember that you're not pushing the knife, you're slicing the knife. Always make sure your follow through is not you or somebody else. That's a lot more comfy. And I can just come in and clean this up. And this is where that stop cut comes in extremely handy. So you can just Slice right up to that stop cut. Quite a bit of material over here. I take a little more off. It certainly doesn't have to be perfect, but there's also nothing wrong with taking pride in your work, especially when it comes to more of a bushcraft skill like this. If it was just a survival deal, you know, I would just use this stick and do what I had to do with it. But you know, for bushcraft and enjoying your time in the woods and developing your skills, you can take a little more pride in your work. You're not in any type of emergency. Up here you can tell that I'm just getting a little below my stop cut. I can come up and trim that right off. That's pretty good. That's pretty comfortable got some good weight forward so it'll make for a good billet. What I like to do um, just as a personal preference is anytime I have a, a flat end like that or like that I like, to, I like to go ahead and crown those off by just taking that edge down a little all the way around.
crown that off, crown the bottom. And that crown is also known as a pommel end, if you remember from the tri-stick video. So, we created a stop cut, we reduced that material, a round reduction, and we did some crowns. So that is a pretty good billet right there, or a mallet or a baton, whatever you want to call it.